Hello everyone, it's me Paige of Maces. Uh, welcome back to Super Flat Survival. Uh, I was a huge idiot and decided to run around at night. Thankfully I've just looked over there and it seems that the night's almost over. Don't know why I'm running with no sword in my hand. I don't know why there's suddenly so much lag, even though I'm getting... I thought it was a tree, but nope, it's a skeleton in full armour. And that looks like a zombie in full butter armour. Joy. Soon you will all burn. And I will be free to run around. Oh dear god. Five of them. Hopefully they all killed each other. Come on, let's have a temple or a village or something. Random lag spike. Don't know why I'm lagging, seeing as I'm in single player. Whoop. Let's run. Let's get some food out on the bar. Come on, five more diamonds. Have to find five more diamonds. Let's have a look around. Nope, nothing. Malls. Seriously, why you lag spike game? Why you lag spike? I've got nothing else running on my laptop apart from Perhaps Minecraft and Skype, and none of them really take up that much energy. Thing is, no one's communicating with me in Skype, and perhaps it's just sitting there nicely recording. The joys of a crappy laptop. Well, you're not crappy. You're just old. I need a new battery, which we'll get next month. Yes, I talked to my laptop. She has a name as well. It's definitely a she. Come on, please stop lagging. Village! With lots and lots of fields. And the all-important smithy. You want coal for emeralds? Can't do anything with you there. Those two are having a fight. Four diamonds for an emerald. No! The other way around! Please! Random block. No, I've seen no animals in this world. Hello there. Let's see some more apples. That's vaguely useful, don't need those. I believe they're all healed. Nope, they're not, but they'll hang on for a while. Right, purple belligerent dude. Fairly useless. You're staring at the leak. How is that happening? Oops. You want chicken, of which I've seen none. Oh, you want to run off. Another chicken. Oh, there's two purple guys. What do you want? I don't need redstone.
No, I've already shoved a couple of test certificates in the water. I don't need to do a third one. Or do I? I think you guys need to call Thames Water. That's not right. Get them to fix your leaking water mains. For any Americans watching, just Google it. I cannot be bothered to explain. Needles to say, it's a water company. That's all I will say on the matter. Well, let's just get some more bone meal. Scratch my lip. And hiccup. <laughs> I'm so professional. I even commentate what my uh, what my body's doing. Like right now, it's demanding the cream egg that is sitting on my bookshelf. All in good time. <laughs> Not much else to say at the moment, uh, apart from a load of anime that I've been watching has finished. My amnesia had its last episode, uh, Man Girl and uh, Blast of Tempest and Encouragement of Climb. I really like Encouragement of Climb. I hope it comes out on a uh, I hope it gets a, a dub and comes out on DVD over here, because it really is a sweet little show. I believe I've already talked about it. But the ending was quite nice, and it seems like there's going to be a second series, so it's all good. Just have to wait a year or a couple of months or whatever. I'm not quite sure how the... not quite sure how the anime seasons actually work, if second series of things come around a year after, or, or what. Mainly seeing as I watch older anime. It's quite other new, new stuff is quite cool. Ha <laughs> ha. Ran past you and you didn't hurt me. Nom the apple. Now I have my game sounds turned down low, and hopefully the uh, hum is not so evident as it normally is. Let's see, what can I talk about? Mm -hmm. Maybe we can talk about books today, because I've uh, been rereading the Dresden Files, which are quite possibly the most awesome books I've ever read. They're quite short, but I don't length doesn't really come into it. It's all about what happens between the pages, and lots of awesome stuff does happen between the pages. Um, I think it's in um, Blood Rites. Yeah, Blood Rites, where um, the opening line is: "The building was on fire, and it wasn't my fault," which definitely. Uh, Definitely highlights the hilarity of the, uh, the the awesomeness of the thing. It's basically about a professional wizard called Harry Dresden, Harry Blackstone Copperfield Dresden, to give his full name, um, who works as a private investigator in Chicago. Um, so like doing so he, as a professional wizard he like does jobs for people um, and then investigates paranormal activity uh, and helps out the Chicago Police Department um, 
And he's got quite a few allies, like he has Karen Murphy, who is the lieutenant of the Special Investigations Branch of the Chicago Police Force. And she's fair and she's she's awesome. It's like five nothing and a hundred nothing. Like it's a really tiny woman and Dresden's this huge tall beast of a man. Well skinny, actually, rather than but seriously. My goodness. Uh, but yeah, she's this tiny, tiny thing, and she regularly kicks large amounts of arse. She's basically like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, only not so obsessed with guys and like a really dead, really de dedicated Buffy, in a way. And there's some other awesome people, like uh, a couple of books later you meet Michael, who is this, who is one of the Knights of the Cross. Um, one of the really cool things about the, uh, the Dresden Files is just the sheer breadth of mythology and religion that appears and all the different types of creatures and things. It's pretty, pretty amazing. It's this whole sort of world of where every myth is almost real. Like there are, I think about four or five different types of vampires. Only three you see on screen, and one that gets mentioned, and then a couple. And you've also got the fairies, um, a whole bunch of other pe things. I'm not going to give too much of the plots away, but because I, I think you should really read them yourself. The first book is called Stormfront, and they've all got various pun-related titles. <laughs> but Harry Dresden is, is awesome. He, yeah, as I was saying, he's basically around about like six foot seven, I think, and quite skinny and dark-haired and dark-eyed, and tends to go around wearing dark, <laughs> dark leather or canvas dusters. So ladies, you may swoon. Gentlemen, you may also swoon. I believe that uh, I believe that's appropriate for a, a guy like this. He's very much a wisecracking magic nerd, but he's so cool. He's like my favourite fictional American, and possibly my favourite American ever. Yes, I have even placed him above Elijah Wood. Oh god, there's an Enderman and there's things in Butterama. And I'm going to be running around in the dark again. You appear to have forgotten your shoes. I make it through the night, this will be a miracle. Luckily my armour will protect me. <laughs> Searching for a village. I can has village. What way am I even running? Uh that's where I just came from. So this way, I believe. So I saw the skelly with the butter on. I actually got into the uh, Dresden Files due to a completely almost unrelated thing because I play a uh, forum mafia a lot on uh, a website called Read and Find Out that I've been a member of since since it first started up. Um, and we, they did a Dresden Files Mafia and I decided that I would read them just so I could understand a little bit more about what was going on so um, I also got into Brandon Sanderson oh shit um, yeah I got into Mistborn and the Dresden Files due to Mafia games and me wanting to know as much about the worlds as I could. I think I managed to... 
I'd only read Stormfront at, by the time the uh, thing ended because I ordered Full Moon off the. That's the second book in the Dresden Files series. Sorry, um, ordered Full Moon. That's a fool. As in. That's full, not full. Oh dear god. I'm playing on normal. Seriously. There should not be this many mobs. Need to eat, need to eat. I'd, yeah, I'd only ever I'd only read the first book by the time the game finished a couple of months later due to the uh, sheer incompetence of Amazon telling me, "Oh no, this won't be with you for at least a year." And then suddenly, "Hang on a minute, no, we've managed to find one for you." Ugh. It's the only time Amazon's let me down. Generally it's been good at coughing over the goods, although there was a bit of problems with um, the first Puella Magi Madoka Magica, but that arrived pretty quickly afterwards. Don't look at the Enderman, don't look at the Enderman. Leave me alone, spider. I did nothing to you. Nothing, I see. I have a funny feeling there's going to be a storm or something. That's why there's no s no moon. Stop lag spiking, man. Shit. Really shouldn't travel at night, but seeing as there's nowhere to bloody shelter. Seriously, where have all the temples gone? Hello? Temples? That's it, Creeper, you can die. Oh, good grief. Stop it! He shot me in the arse. <laughs> They're all chasing me! It's not fair. I'd better keep moving because creepers and stuff. It can be daylight soon. Please? Beef? <laughs> Seriously, it's like a bloody endless night. I really wish I could dig a hole, but I can't. Oh. No, you don't. You don't. You bloody bastards, leave me alone. Yeah, I can hear you. Ouch. something explode? Nope. My armor's still in good nick. Seriously, it can be dawn soon? Wait, there's a zombie with a sword with butter armor on. door? No, that's a spider. Now that's a spider. Oh god, now that song stuck in my head. Uh, to explain, uh, basically I watched a, a bridge series for Final Fantasy X and there's a song called Now That's a Sandwich that plays at the end of one of the 
videos where the abridger makes a rather bizarre looking sandwich and that song is playing over over the sandwich making if you're wondering how weird it is I suggest you just go look it up yourself you you need to see it yourself I like to watch a bridge series as as well for different things because they are they can be quite hilarious, especially like Yu-Gi-Oh abridged and Sailor Moon abridged. Because I've never watched that much Yu-Gi-Oh, so only I'd only ever watched like the first arc and a little bit of the second. What do I even have on here? Bane of arthropods and knockback. Don't know why I'm bothering to collect that. There's nothing. Nothing but featureless plane. Well, featureless desert, actually. I think that Desert Pyramids would appear more often, but it's been like two episodes now since I've seen one. I do want to go back in there because they actually have a good chance of me finding diamonds, please game. incredibly annoying. All I want is five diamonds or a pair of trousers. Diamond trousers, not anything else. Maybe I need to start running in a different direction again. Probably it will be a plan. Let's run this way. Perhaps that's my problem. I'm running too far in one direction and not getting anywhere. I hate to think what the uh, map looks like from above. Well, there's something. A useless something, but still something. Hmm, that wasn't a lighting glitch, that's just dark under there. Damn it, game stop freezing. Aha! That worked. Yes, that definitely worked. for days. All these people standing around eating steaks and things. Look at me eating apples and bread and, and carrots. Aha! Oh you bastard. Any smithy? 
Ta-da! Now I want a million diamonds, please. Butter and bread. That's not too bad, I guess. Let's put that out there. Drop that off. Get rid of that sand. Really should not have bothered to make that crafting bench. It's not coming in very useful. <gasps> nope, give me back those emeralds. You can't have them. How do I even throw them? Seriously, how did I? Hunting for another blacksmith. Nope. Nope, you're a farmer. on the wiki there was ones with green robes on. I wonder what they were, they were for. We have to be brought back in. Or in. Damn it, game. Carry on. Oh, hello. There's one. Come on, diamonds, please. Well, I'm not going to run out of bread anytime soon. One point five hasn't changed the. Uh, spawn rate of chests and diamonds. Strike that, reverse it. The snozberries taste like snozberries. This looks like a red flower. A rose even, even though it wasn't. Ah, oh, things seem from a distance. Oh. Suddenly veer off. There's another one of them. Not sure whether there is going to be a storm at some point, I reckon. Poor Muggins here, caught out, uh, out in it. Yeah, why am I suddenly questioning everything? Oh well. I'll keep running until dusk. Hopefully, we can shelter in a village for the evening. It's the kind of weather that I wish that we had hot chocolate in the game. be kind of cool if you mix milk and uh, in a, a bucket of milk with some with uh, some cocoa beans maybe 
just adding chocolate to the game would be pretty cool. So no, there's a uh, chocolate chip cookies, but that's those are chocolate chips. You need to have a proper bar of chocolate. Probably use cocoa beans, um, milk and some paper, I guess, to make them. You know, the papers for the wrapper. Ideas. So many ideas. As I said in my last aircon video, I really wish there was more marine life, like mermaids and stuff. Like tigers, maybe. Some more flying things. Like birds or a dragon. Or like they keep saying, oh yeah, dragons, dragons, dragons. Dragons in the overworld would be pretty cool. Especially if you could tame them and ride them. Kiss my ass, Aragorn. Yes, I've read those books. I don't like them. Although I haven't read the last one. I read. I want to read the last one just for the sake of completion. I know it's a stupid thing to do, but I need to do it. The bibliophile will not uh, in me will not let me not finish a series. That's why I subjected myself to Breaking Dawn. Just because I had to know. That stupid part of my brain that was going, but you have to read it. Even though you hate it, you must finish the series. Otherwise, how can you call yourself a reader? How the hell can you be qualified to talk about how bad the books are if you haven't read them all. If you can't tell, I'm a massive masochist. That book was... D oh, those... Those books are just god-awful. Twilight and the, Arag and, and the Aragorn books. I know I'm pronouncing it like Aragorn, but he blatantly is Aragorn. A dragon riding Aragorn or Luke Skywalker. Well, that being said, that the, the film of Aragorn is a guilty pleasure, just because the film is just so bad. It doesn't take itself seriously at all, and everyone just acts really hammy and disinterested. And it's just you can tell that no one gives a shit. So that's the, you just have to admire the sheer brass balls of the fact that it's like, yes, all the actors know what kind of crappy film it is, so we're just going to overact entirely. Like John Malkovich as the um, Scalabra Torix is just so... It's just such terrible acting. It's amazing. It's like Nirvana of badness. It's just something that if I want to feel sort of like, I don't know, I, so even my DVD copy is bad, it starts cutting out near the, near the end of it and it's just, oh my god, it's like the film is so bad it warps the DVD it's on, it's like how can that not be something you just have to watch just because like, ha, huh, this thing, it even breaks physics and technology and stuff. But anyway, I'm going to call this an episode. Ooh didn't even mean to press that, I wanted to do that. I am not giving you my hard-earned emeralds for that. So you can screw off, sir. You three, you two can as well. But anyway, I'm Page of Maces, being stared at by certificates. TTFN. <laughs>